pop. Yes, girl, it's called a voiceover, and I'm doing it. This is me, girl. First of all, shout out to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video. Here I am with product in hand, and I am popping from ear to ear, ear to ear. Yeah, yeah, very much doing it. One thing about me, you will catch me in my bathroom every seven to 10 days washing my hair. And I am so grateful to be working with a brand that caters to my personal curl needs. Like for instance, my moisture is made with 100% aloe as the first ingredient. Not the last ingredient, but the first ingredient, sweetie, which is deeply moisturizing and hydrating and necessary because not all curls are equal, but all curls get dry, yeah. Yeah, every curl gets dry. And one thing about it, I'm one of the ones. My hair gets very much dry. So I really appreciate a product that focuses on moisturizing my hair. And also something that doesn't weigh my curls down. Just, just something that takes care of the, the basics. You know, when your hair is not properly moisturized, your hair will feel dry, it will feel brittle, and it might look frizzy. Now, one thing about it, y'all know my hair stays frizzy. And what I notice when I use my Maui Moisture products is that I don't have a lot of frizz happening, especially when I use them properly. You know, every now and again, I ain't paying attention to directions. But when I actually look at the directions and I use the product as directed, my hair really turns out frizz-free. Another thing that I feel like y'all should know about Maui Moisture is that there are not a lot of unwanted ingredients inside of the products, like sulfates, mineral oils, silicones, parabens, all of that. What you're gonna see are ingredients that are meant to moisturize and hydrate the hair. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure y'all knew that in case you didn't. And go and shop, try some stuff out. Like, I love the products that you see here. Every product that you see me using in this video, I've used multiple times and literally have gone back for seconds and thirds. Like I actually like these products. I'm suggesting that you use them. Now what you're seeing me do here is a basic wash and go, but keep in mind that Maui Moisture has products for literally every scenario. They have lots of styling products. If you need a mousse, if you need a curling or coiling gel, if you need an elongating gel, they've got it. They have oil mist, they have curl refresher mist, they have hair and scalp milks, literally everything you can think of, they've got it. If you need products specific to your needs, I'm sure you can find it. They literally have a category for everything. So check out their site and see what products speak to you. Thanks again to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video. When I say thank you, I mean thank you. And uh, yeah, y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Okay, um, let's get into the full festivity of it all, shall we? I had to change my robe because I hate, hate the feeling of something wet on my body. Hate the feeling. I'm gonna spray on a little bit of a hyaluronic mist, put some moisture back into the skin after drying it. Thank you. I was dealing with some dry skin last year. Like my face just felt tight, like all in this area and just looked rough and tight no more sweetie well hmm. okay i'm taking just a smidge of moisturizer and getting that all over the skin as well even though i'm preferring more of like a matte base for my makeup i still want my skin to look juicy and moisturized and plump you know like we can do both around here Take it from me, it's a lesson to be. At this point, these mean nothing because they're sliding back. I be wearing them for my little edges, but I don't care what they saying. I'm wearing a sunscreen. Somebody literally wrote me like, why are you wearing sunscreen, you're black. I put a whole post up on my Instagram stories asking for sunscreen suggestions. Not for my face, but for my body, because I like the sunscreen that I use for my face. I personally like to chill for a couple minutes before I move on to doing my makeup directly. Sometimes I do the makeup directly, but then I be feeling like the skincare didn't get a chance to like percolate. We really ain't got time, cause let's see, what time is it? It's 10.45, we have to be finished with everything by 11.45, getting dressed, jewelry, and makeup, so let's just go ahead and get into it. First thing I'm doing, spraying on a finishing spray. Or a setting spray, whatever you wanna call it. Hopefully, 
this helps the makeup stick. Now before it fully dries down, I wanna apply my concealer to my face. The concealer that I'm using, oh, I didn't realize I sprayed so much. It didn't feel like any was getting onto my skin. That was so much. Uh-oh, I didn't realize I did all that. Oops, okay, well, this should really stay then. I've really been getting into using smaller brushes to blend out my concealer and also to just like apply makeup period. I feel like smaller brushes really let me get in the nooks and crannies and also like it, it gives me more of like a detailed makeup look. Now we are in the dead of summer, meaning it's hot as hell outside. I'm talking about hot as hell, okay? It is 90 something degrees, degrees? 90 something degrees outside and like, or not even 90, it's like 86, but it feels like 96. Like it's that type of situation, right? And so it is really hot. And like in the South, when it's hot, it's also humid. That's just what it is. It's very humid. So it's like, we dealing with the heat on top of it being humid and gross. Okay, that blended out fine. Like, I'm not mad at that. Um, before I get into foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the brows down. Honestly, this step really just gives me, it just gives me a little bit of structure to work with before I apply my brows. Okay, so that's on. I'm gonna let that percolate. Now let's go in with our foundation. Still using the same foundation. Foundation I'm using definitely gives more of the like dewy vibes, which I'm not really going for, but so I'ma just use this same brush I was using for found, for um, concealer for my foundation. This is a really small brush, but my other brushes need to be washed. You see that match though? That's crazy. And I just work it up a little bit over the area where I applied that um, concealer. Okay, so that was one pump of foundation. I'm gonna do maybe not a whole pump, but at least a half pump. Using a smaller brush, I think, also helps me to like not overuse the makeup. Like I'm just using this small amount and getting it exactly where it needs to go. Okay, foundation is on. I really don't put foundation on my forehead. This foundation does do a good job of like coverage. I will say that. All right, while that's sitting there, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. Y'all know I've been proud of my brows lately. I'm gonna do those quickly. I feel like the key is to start at the bottom, creating like the line at the bottom, the shape that you want for your brows, and then kind of going in and filling it in of slightly. There's two things, you can go in and kind of fill it in where you need it, or if you're like really beginning and figuring it out, just draw that line and then lightly brush it up and see where you need to fill in because when you brush it up, that product is gonna move up into your brows. You might not need to pencil anything in. That brow gel I put on wasn't really like dry all the way, but it ended up working out. I normally like to wait for it to dry fully before I start applying brows, but they looking big and thick right now, but let's do the rest of the makeup and maybe they'll look better to me. Cause right now it's looking like big thick ass brows. My next step is going to be eyeshadow. <laughs> I know, I know, eyeshadow, what? I'm literally just going to be like using a bronzer to create a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of mystery, you know what I mean? Going like naturally where I, like my cracks and crevices. Every word that I'm using sounds crazy, but I'm following like the natural shades of my face, like the natural divots and stuff to create some shading. This is how I'm taking my everyday makeup looks up a notch, okay? And taking them from looking just like my everyday makeup to like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, who was that? So the first thing is this like right under the brow shading. And remember, I'm not creating this, I'm just like elevating it. That's already there. 
it's really good to do your makeup in front of a mirror so you can actually see like where those parts of your face are. So then when you're doing it, you can actually follow that shape instead of like trying to create the shape. Now, this is where I get a little bit creative. I'm going to add a little bit on my lid. And for this part, I think you gotta pay attention to your eye shape and how you'd like to accentuate that. Or, you know, you're really an artist at this point. Like you can change it if you want to. If you wanna create an eye shape, you could. Now there are parts when I'm doing this where I'm like, did I even do anything? And then by the end, I'm like, okay, yeah, you did something. I can tell that something was done. I'm also going to do this motion. Cause when you do this right here, it accentuates this area and it highlights it, it like makes it poke out. So it makes your cheekbones look like higher. I have naturally high cheekbones, so it's not like something I need to do, but it's just a nice way to let the makeup flow. And there's still so much makeup that needs to be done, so don't get ahead of yourself. Like, I got stuff to do and I know it. So now that that's all done, it's looking, it's looking a little like Black Swan. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a little bit of this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, and we're gonna put this right here, all right? I'm gonna put a little bit over here. I'm just gonna take my finger and buff that out. Now I'm gonna take this, it's like a little light, and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm passing this on my lid, and it's just going to help with the look. What I'm trying to do is like a matte, soft glam situation, okay? You can use an eyeshadow that's that color. I do not have an eyeshadow that's that color, so that's why I'm just using this and it gets the point across. I gotta go back in with the bronzer and just reestablish that shade. It's really good to really look at yourself in the mirror like, and pay attention to what you're doing. I really think I just did something. It's barely anything, but like, it's something. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is the step where it gets scary, I'm going to line my waterline. Just right in the back. There is a better way to do this. This is the only way I can do it. Thank you. And what this does is it makes the lashes look thicker. I'm wearing lashes today and I wanna help with the blending of that. So, oops, see, and sometimes you mess up. Okay, we got all we need to get. I don't line the bottom part because I don't like my eyes looking beady and I feel like that would like make my eyes look beady. So I just don't do that. Before I start on eyes, I'm going to finish the rest of my face because I feel like I look like a potato. So let's warm up the face. I'm using the same bronzer I used on my eyes. Now I'm gonna apply my mascara. I don't know when that cut off. Okay, while the mascara is drying, let's finish the rest of the face. My under eyes are looking kind of dark to me, so I'm going to add some concealer there. Just a little bit. Let that sit and dry down for a second. Let's figure out what lashes we're wearing. So the lashes I love to wear are the Baby Wispy Lashes from Ardell. I don't have them. What I've learned is that like a curl looks best on me, something that has a little bit of a shoo. What uh, Nini say? Hers curled on me. Shoo? I'm going to set that real quick. And I'm gonna use this powder from Sephora that I got. Major crucial step. When you put the powder on your little thing, press it into your hand. Now I'm just gonna add powder places I think I need it. So for me, that's around the nose. Oh, it's giving Michael Jackson. I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and brush it on top of my brows. I really don't like when my brows look like waxy. Like I really hate that look. So a little powder just knocks off the sheen a little bit. Still haven't applied blush. Don't think I've forgotten, I have not. Kind of like bending the lash a little bit so then it like curves. Since the eye has a natural curve to it. Okay, that was really successful. Just gonna leave it alone for a second, but I did that. Let that sit for a second and then I'm gonna like squeeze it into my lash. But good. Cute, cute, cute. And we're gonna just go right for it. Right up here at the tippity top of the cheekbone and work it a little bit 
and down. Great blush placement. Love that. Now what I'm gonna do is go back in with the bronzer. I'm just gonna make sure everything's working together. All right. I didn't apply more product to it. Actually, I did. Just a few, just a little bit. And I'm just kind of like pressing that on top. Okay, so we still have some things to do. Firstly, my moles. Let's do that. Before we get into that, I'm gonna apply my lip liner. As far as lip liners go, I like to aim for lip liners that are in the brown category. So I do the sides, I do the top, and I leave the bottom alone. If I didn't line, I would be okay. But it just like helps to bring the look together. Okay, so I have these lipsticks that I got from Sephora a while ago, and I'm gonna put it on just because. Do I hate that? Yes. No, I hate that. No, 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 like I do, I hate that. Um. So what we're gonna do, one, it's not horrible, but it's just not the look I was going for. Should we just do a berry, a berry look? I have this this cream gloss from Fenty. Let's move on, shall we? Cause y'all know for me, most times I'm just gonna do a clear gloss, like a regular regular gloss. But for some reason, I felt compelled to do like a berry lip. But this is the face. Now you can like loosely take a brush and apply a little bit of powder all over the face to set that. I'm sure this has some powder residue on it, so we're good. I'm gonna spray that setting spray on to really just complete it, so. And I'm not gonna do the most. Okay, now I bid you adieu as I go put my clothes on and I'll show you the complete and final. Okay. And this is my final look. Oh, I didn't put the rest of my jewelry on. Pop. Ting. Cute, 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 cute. Love the look. I think I look very sophisticated. Okay. Now, I was in between earrings because I have so many cute, like, statement earrings right now. So we have these, which I doubled up. This is a pair. I just put them both on this ear. And then I have these. Now, I planned on just wearing this earring, but the other one broke. Zara, count your mother <laughs> days. But, yeah, this is the earring I planned on wearing, but I think it's cute, like, a little, you know what I mean? Also, my other option was to just wear these, which are so pretty and cute, and I think are great for summertime, but I'm kinda like stuck on the gold right now, so I'ma just do the gold. I do need to oil my body down and put on a perfume, but for the most part, this is my look. And I just have on a sample that I actually found at TJ Maxx. This is what it looks like, just that kind of sandal. Bag is thrifted. This is the look. Thanks again to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.